Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Um, first of all, just, just how difficult a week has this been for you and the football club? Very. Very difficult for different reasons. Um, <laughs> so this was the team we could line up today. Um, and the boys did really well. So in a difficult game, which became more, or even more difficult um, when we conceded the... The one nil, um, but the boys reacted well. Um, put in a really a proper shift, um, and it's so difficult because setting up a team, starting training again on Friday, and then involving all these young kids—they are all really good footballers. There's no doubt about that, and we are no doubt about, about in doubt about that. So um, that's all good, but it makes it really tricky, especially when you have to play um, and break down a low block, which shows very rightly. So. Um, um, did today so um, yeah just happy about the result happy about that we went through and about a lot of things that Taki trained only twice now after his injury uh, <laughs> actually rather still part of the rehab the game today than uh, than the real game and um, Bobby came only back yesterday for training and, and played now the game and, and scored as well so, um, so many things um, could have went the wrong way today. And in the end, we made it all fine. Have you literally had to do a head count, have you, today, to see who's available? Not today, in the last few days, of, of, of course. So, um, the situation is, is just like this. We had um, how we thought last week, a proper outbreak. Um, and... It showed up uh, that we had a lot of false positives, actually, but still the, the rules are that they um, the rules are like they are, and so they um, all these players who are false positive um, couldn't play today, or we decided not to play them for whatever whatever people would have decided if we would have played them. I don't know exactly, but we had to make that decision, um, and so. Um, that was really the only real positive case from the team extra uh, was Trent Alexander Arnold, um, and all the rest was false positive. So it was really really tough week. So because the boys anyway couldn't train because we had to close the training down because the ground because until you realize that it's false positive, that takes two extra testing rounds. <laughs> so it's it's really it's really difficult. Um, and then, how I said, this was the team we could line up today. The boys did really well, and I'm happy about that. Okay, we'll go in order of the screen. So, Neil Jones next, please. Hi, Egan. Um, you obviously had two young lads down the right-hand side with Connor and Kay, 17 and 18. You must have been delighted with how they handled it. It's, it's, it's tough, you know, a tough ask for them. I am delighted, even when I know they both can do so much better because they are real talents. I'm really happy about that, and I'm happy about a lot of things, but uh, Connor can play well, how good he could be and can be in the future and, and Kate is obviously finishing wise he's, he's, an, he's an adult uh, his finishing is really exceptional um, but all the rest is to the kid so um, playing as um, playing the position the way he plays so there's so much to improve but I'm really happy for them um, how they contributed today the first goal obviously was their goal together with Elijah who um, should be happy as well today, especially when we moved him to the left wing. It was all of a sudden he felt like free um, to go there, which is fine. Um, so many um, really nice little stories today. So good. Okay, Carl Markham next, please. Hey, I mean, you talked about uh, Cade Gordon's finishing there. I mean, that that finish he it was, was so cool and, and calm. It was like almost like a senior pro the way you took it. Again, please, Carl. Sorry, Gordon's finishing. You said he's, he's, he's finishing, he's not in doubt, but but the way he took that goal was in, in such a crowded area. His first chance in front of the cop, he could have snatched at it, but he was so calm and, and took it took it really well. That's great. That's great um, that he is in this situation really calm. I will not say that he for the rest of his career in this situation he always was calm, but I, I'm pretty sure more often than not. Uh, because that's just, that's him. He's um, in a cross coming from the left side. You will find him in the box. He's there with that. Um, good there as well. Um, he's really, he has, a, he has a nose for that. That's uh, really helpful. Um, and so, yeah, I, I I know it's it's he's the second youngest, or people told me he's the second youngest goal scorer 
um, for Liverpool, which is absolutely exceptional, <laughs> um, especially I think when the other one was Michael Owen. Um, well, there's a way to go, no problem. Kate has time, we give him the time, he will have his minutes here and there. Um, and if he's working as hard as he did so far, because not to forget, he came only back from COVID as well. So um, we, I'm not sure, I think he had now two or three proper sessions, that's it. And so it's really not easy um, then to show up in a game like this, but he did then, uh, all credit to him. Okay, last two questions, uh, Hideo first, please. Hi, Jürgen. <clears throat> Can I just ask uh, what Minamino's uh, injury problems were and, and also how crucial the coming weeks would be for him and his career at Liverpool with you know, Salah and Mane out? Oh, Taki was injured, so that's all, and nothing serious, but serious enough to 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 that he couldn't that he couldn't play. So that's how it is. Yeah, now it's not the longest rehab in his life, hopefully, um, or maybe it was the longest rehab, hopefully. That, um, but he's back, and very important for us, very very important, especially when we have now um, a lot of games coming up, and uh, how we all know that two of our um, main guys up front um, are, are not here. So um, yeah, it's it's good that Taki. I like I like Taki a lot when he came on. He's actually in a really good shape, but of course uh, the injury interrupted it um, slightly. That's how it is. But um, now he's back. It's good, and uh, we need him desperately. Okay, and we'll finish with Paul Joyce, please. Jürgen, could I just ask about Thiago Alcantara? Um, there's been a lot of rumours over the weekend that he's, his injuries going to keep him out for a long time. People, people have said till the end of the season, or maybe even until March. Is, is there any clarity of when he when he could be back? No, but uh, no, neither March nor end of the season I, um, is in my mind. So um, yeah, it's something uh, around the hip. That's a that's a that's a situation, and we, we he has to. It needs time now. He's now not training this. He didn't train this week, um, but we expect him to be back to do rehab stuff next um, from Monday on, uh, tomorrow on, and um, then we will see. But no, it's not that that he's out for the, or that he's out for the, until the end of the season. Not at all.